Hello everyone, and welcome to my Dust Devil Chinning Slayer Guide. I would like to make three parts up to this, so I want to make, for this one, the Chinning, I want to make a Mage for Barraging, and I would like to make a Melee version as well. So basically, there's going to be in three different parts. It's going to be similar in how you kill them, essentially, for the range and the mage. The melee will be slightly different, however, um, but I do want to make each different one in individual videos because then I can get into full detail for each setup. So as far as what you should be wearing goes, you want to have as much prayer bonus as possible. You also want to have ranged strength as well. However, it's not as important as your prayer will be due to the fact that they have very low defense for both range and mage, and so you're going to be hitting very commonly, so you don't need the accuracy, but prayer will help quite a bit. So basically, uh, for armor, I'm just wearing Blessed Dragonhide or Ceridomin in this case. It can be any of the Blessed Dragonhides though, they give prayer bonuses, uh, and you want to be having at least a holy blessing or any type of blessing that you can use. You're also going to want to have your best ring, so archer ring imbued is very good. Uh, Pegasian boots, which technically are the best if you want for the DPS. However, you can also have holy sandals because they give a really high prayer bonus and you can use them here. I have a necklace of anguish, slayer helm, but if you don't have a slayer helm, you can just use a dust mask. Our uh, face mask, you need to have at least a face mask or a Slayer Helm to do these, and if you don't have that, then they will basically reduce your stats to nothing and pretty much kill you, so make sure you have at least a face mask or a Slayer Helm. Mine's also imbued, so I can use range with it. If it's not imbued, uh, it only gives you the bonus damage for melee. I also have an assembler, though that can be any of the AVA devices that you have unlocked. For the glove slot, I'm using a bracelet of slaughter. This will make the task longer by about 30%. I also have a book of law for my offhand slot. This gives a very high range attack and uh, you might as well use it because you need something for the shield slot. And of course you want to have your red chinchampas. Now you can use gray, they won't be as good but they'll be a lot cheaper for sure. Um, or you can use black, but I definitely don't recommend that because they're very expensive. Um, so definitely don't want to use those. But um, that's pretty much what your Im uh, gear should look like. Your inventory should look something similar to this if you are ranging. So you're going to want to have darts. I'll show you guys why in a little bit. You're going to have a lot of prayer potions. So I have eight in here, but you may want more than that. Uh, if you're ranging, you want to have elk runes. I know I'm on the wrong spell book. I will change that before I go. And I just have Max Cube for a teleport to my house to show you one way to get there. Uh, and I also have a Corrin teleport tab. That is another way you can get there. There's multiple ways, and I'll show you how to get to both ways. Uh, and then range potions. I just brought two, but you can bring however many you need to last the task or trip, depending on which one comes first. So I switched to the standard spell book now and I'm ready to go. So basically to get there, um, there's multiple ways. So the first time you actually go, um, you're not going to want to use this way, but every other time this is probably going to be the fastest way to get there is the Corend tab or the house portal to Corend, um, pretty much. So how I'm going to get there is I'm just going to teleport to my house. So I'm just using a mask cape, but you can use a teleport tab to your home. Uh, and you want to either go to world 330 or have a core end portal in your house. So basically just go into a core end portal of anyone's. Uh, make sure you use ordinate rejuvenation pool always. Head into the portal. And once you're in the portal, you can enter this statue. Alright, once you've investigated into the statue, we're going to be going east. You'll see moss giants. From the moss giants, go south until you hit the other room of Moss Giants, then go east again until you see these two little circles and a path in between. Right there you will see some Dust Devils. Now these are not the Dust Devils that we're going to be using. These is the melee spot. Um, this is over here the mage and range spot and so I'm going to have to find an empty world so I'll be a little bit. Actually really quick before I find a world I'm going to show you the other method to get here. So the other method um, to unlock it you actually have to get here the way I showed you first and then just come this way. 
go through this little crevice where Lilia is, and you'll see a bunch of sandy boulders. And then you'll see over here in this room that there's a little climb rope. Here, let me just turn these this off so they don't attack me. Um, there's a little climb rope option. You'll see that, and you want to climb that. And when you climb that, you'll see that there's a little hole by the bank. And that hole by the bank actually does not exist until you go up the rope. So you have to basically unlock that. So that's how that works. So once you've unlocked that, you can now go down it and you're always there. And so basically that's what you use this for. Um, to get here, you teleport with that and that will basically bring you to the house portal, which is located right over here. And you just use this little 45 agility shortcut and you just run up to the bank and you're there. Otherwise you can just run, if you don't have 45 agility, you can just run all the way around this way until you get there as well. Uh, or you can actually just get there uh, through the way we went the first time every single time if you want. It's not a big deal, um, but there is a bank right here and so if you do have the bank, it's really close. Um, but you only have to get there the one time and then there's a bank so it doesn't really matter about how you're getting there so this is now useless for me to have my intro but anyway I'm just gonna keep it there um, so I'm gonna go find a world like I said and once I find a world then I will show you guys how to do this uh, also I'm gonna put mine on medium fuse I don't really know if short fuse and medium fuse have much of a difference I know long fuse gives you defense XP and we don't want that right now but maybe some of you will want that so I'm just gonna put mine on medium fuse if you were so I actually found a free world that did not take a long time and so pretty much once you're here um, you want to put on your bronze darts so put your bronze darts on and pray melee melee is all you got to pray here you can pray if you would like to pray your rigor augury or piety it's up to you but um, melee is only the requirement you want to put on so just make sure you drink your uh, ranging potion and basically just attack them. They're all multi-way combat zones, so just attack them with the darts. Why you want to use the darts is because they have a fast attack uh, speed and you will tag them all really quickly instead and you won't waste your chins on uh, uh, just getting them aggro to you. Make sure your auto retaliate is on, however, and from there you want to just run between these two squares like this, back and forth really fast. Throw your chins on and just click the pile. And you'll see that you're getting really huge XP drops, like two to 300 easily. And um, that's pretty much that. I'm actually not on task for these, so uh, as you can see, I have a Hellhound task. I'm just doing this to show you guys. So I could be even hitting a lot more. I'm obviously not hitting too good because I'm not on task. Um, my Star Helmet isn't actually doing anything because of the fact of that. I just wanted to show you guys this, and I couldn't actually get this as a task. It was, mm, it was just not happening, and I have to do lots of Cerberus, and so I pretty much just didn't really bother and waiting for a task. I just decided to come here because you don't have to be on task to do these. So yeah, pretty much just attack them, and then once the whole pile is dead, pretty much just do the same thing. Just quickly tag them all and repeat the process where you chin them. You gotta get them into the pile though, because if you get them into the pile, then you can attack all of them. Because basically, if you don't, they're only attacked by a certain, only a certain amount of them will get attacked. So you want them to all be stacked on top of each other. So basically, yeah, you just gotta click between these two squares really constantly. Uh, you don't have to click the squares themselves. You can click actually behind them if you want. And then you just do that and attack them. And as you can see, it's very, very easy. You're hitting really high. I know it shows like only the one number. Like, see, it just showed a one, but it actually hit a lot of them. It just got piled on top. But you can see by your XP drops that you're actually hitting quite high. And that's pretty much how that works. You can actually get a lot of range XP and a lot of Slayer XP here per hour. And if you do this off task, it's actually really good range XP as well. Uh, and it's pretty good money like to make back for your chins as well like as you can see I just got um, 16k worth of chaos runes in one drop there so I can pick those up and there's a bunch of other drops I've also received I just haven't bothered uh, picking any of them up but you can see there's some decent drops there um, but they do drop a lot of coins so if I see, if you see these coins like that's 3,000 3,000 if you want you can wear a ring of wealth but then you'll lose out on your archer rank so I guess that's up to you um, Personally, I think the DPS is a little bit better, but the cash will add up. So, I mean, it's really up to you. If you, if you don't want to pick up your own coins, then a Ring of Wealth would work. Um, but it just depends. Like, I don't mind picking up my own coins. I just haven't been through this video. Um, they all picked up now. But uh, you can do what you want. Uh, Archer Ring just for the DPS. So, pretty much that's how you do them. You just basically get them into a little pile just like that. You can see they're all stacked. 
uh, nicely just in one little spot and you just chin them and it's very simple and easy and uh, pretty much uh, you can do this with very low requirement. You don't have to have very high stats. You can have a low range level as long as you can wear the chins and uh, you only need, I think it's six five slayer for them. So yeah, it's pretty easy. Uh, there's, like I said, not too many requirements. To actually get to the catacombs, there's no requirements at all. And um, it's pretty easy to get here. So um, yeah, now you know how to get here and now you know how to chin them and that you can actually chin them. So yeah, that's pretty much how you chin these. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be making a guide on how to mage them and how to melee them uh, effectively and efficiently. So uh, hopefully you guys watch those videos as well and hopefully they help you out. And if they do, please give this video a like and subscribe if you're not already. Uh, I make a lot of other Slayer guides just like this one, and I plan to make a whole bunch more for almost every other test that I can think of. Um, just like this, I also plan to do uh, a melee mage and range for Necreals as well, as they are pretty much similar in the sense of these, but um, a lot better GP. And basically, yeah, you can you can also do this in the corner over there, but I just prefer this one because it's closer to the to the bank. If you ever need to go to the bank, it's just right here. Um, and yeah, um, but like I said, the side over here is mainly for melee. You don't want to bother with those. There's less of them, and it's just not as good. So you can stack these a lot better. And as you can see, I just got a whole bunch of really cool drops. Instantly, just got a dragon dagger and a mystic air staff like that right there is so good for elks so if I just pick those up and then I can just elk them just like that and look at that we're already at 50,000 GP cash it pays off for most of the chins not all of them for sure definitely not they're pretty expensive but it makes it a lot cheaper than it would if you were getting no drops that is 100% for sure there's obviously uh, even rune arrows in there as well and like I said more coins um, to pick up as well. Anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, um, please give it a like, like I said, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.